guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are enjoying your day today so i'm back at it with another new release from a cart they're just releasing stuff back to back but yeah today i'm going to be trying out their new reloaded collection so i have two gel polish sets to show you guys and a gel polish starter kit these are by awesome color which is actually a sister brand to mccart and first things first i love the packaging i know i say that in every video but i really love how they included um, girls of different races on the packaging it's really really nice and not a lot of other brands have done that before actually i don't even really know any that have so yeah i think it's so adorable and i love it the whole vibe and the aesthetic and everything they definitely always kill it with the packaging so yeah this is the true queen gel polish set um it is a six piece gel polish set and they are eight milliliter bottles um and this is actually the new bottle design for the awesome color gel polishes it's like a rounded top and a rounded bottle and this is what the brush looks like it's really really cute i love the bottle design i'm going to be doing some swatches in a few so you guys can see um, and this is the other gel polish set. This one is called Girl Boss. And the packaging from these actually inspired me to do my set um, because it reminded me of like fashion and like traveling, um, especially for the back of the package um, because of all the buildings and everything. And I did have like these little Eiffel Tower like nail charms. And um, the color I used was the black holographic shade, which you will see when I swatch it. Um, and it kind of just gave me like a um, night in Paris type of vibe. So yeah, I was really like loving it and I think it really complemented this collection really well. But yeah, these are the other polishes in this one. Um, like I said, it comes with six different shades. Um, the shades in these kits are more like on the nude side, but you do get some glitters and a little bit of like some deeper shades. So if you're somebody who doesn't really like like real bright, in your face type of colors you really really like these sets but at the same time you do get a little pop of glitter and like some reds and everything like that so that's really really nice i really do love all the colors in these collections um and this is the gel polish starter kit it does come with two gel polishes which are actually um in the other two gel polish kits um, you also do get a base gel and a top gel and some cleansing pads. These are alcohol pads. Um, you would just use them to like cleanse the oils off of your nails before applying the polishes so that it stays on. You also do get like a little buffer hand file that says awesome color on it and simply flaunt it on the back. And you also do get like a little um, finger curing lamp, which is really, really nice. These would actually be really good if you were doing like um, those press on nails with the gel, like the A-press method. Um, so you could cure like each individual finger. But yeah, this little lamp um, cures really, really good for it being like so small. I was actually really surprised. Um, but yeah, this is basically how you plug it in by USB and you just press the little button and it cures your nails. All right, so here are all the swatches that I did off camera. In the first row, we have the True Queen Gel Polish Set, and I'm just gonna read the names um, in color order. So we have Action, Billionaire, Private Jet, Girl Boss, Slay, and Manifest. In the second row, we have the Girl Boss Collection, and the colors for that one are Success, Get Real, Upper Class, Gold Finger, Power Play, and Bullet. Um, and then in the last row, we have the colors from the gel polish starter kit, which are bullet and manifest. Like I said, the colors in this kit are actually in the other two gel polish kits. So you have the color manifest in the girl boss kit and then the color bullet in the um, true queen gel polish set. Um, overall, I really love all the polishes. I did two coats of each one and then one coat of top coat. They're super pigmented and creamy. I really love the formula. There's no bubbles or anything like that. Um, they do care for like 60 seconds. Um, they're definitely great quality. I've used this brand plenty of times before. 
on my channel so yeah um i would say if you're a beginner and you were looking to get into gel polish and you weren't really sure if you liked it or not i would definitely go with the starter kit um, because you can like test out the two gel polishes and you have a lamp and pretty much everything you need to like get started um, but if you already had your lamp and everything like that and you just wanted like more colors i would definitely go with one of the gel polish sets whichever one you like the best um, i really like both of them i can't decide but yeah if you guys are interested in any of these i will leave the links in the description box along with my 15% off discount code. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. I did go ahead and prep my nails off camera as always. Don't mind my pointer finger. It did get hit and it's still growing out in case you didn't know that already. But yeah, I'm going in with my dehydrator and two coats of primer. I use Mia Secret Dehydrator and Young Nails Protein Bond. Um, and after that dries, I'm gonna go in with a layer of base gel because I'm actually gonna be doing like an all gel set. I'm gonna be encapsulating my gel polishes. I like to do that because it makes them last longer and you don't get like um, as much chipping and stuff like that. And like, I kind of like to utilize my gel polishes that way because I have so many of them. So I kind of like to encapsulate them with clear poly gel. So it kind of looks like whatever gel polish color I'm using, but like, poly gel nail enhancements if that makes any sense so yeah after i apply this base gel i'm gonna go ahead and cure my nails for 60 seconds Now I'm going to go ahead and paint all of my nails with the color Bullet, which is that black holographic shade. At first, I was a little bit nervous to go in and paint my nails black because sometimes it makes me look like ultra pale since I'm already kind of light. Um, so I was a little bit afraid of that, but um, I'm actually going to be applying transfer foils over these. So it kind of like change the color in a way it kind of ended up making them look more like a dark navy blue so i ended up really really liking the end result um so yeah i'm just doing one coat because i'm covering them up with transfer foils and this color is pretty like opaque with one coat anyway and i was just showing you guys how um the little lamp cures <laughs> on those two nails um just in case you were wondering um it works really really good it, like literally pretty much cured them all the way just from doing that. Next, I'm going to be taking these transfer foils from a cart and I'm just like measuring them along my nail and then cutting out like pieces. Um, I know I'm cutting them a little bit longer, but I am going to use some of them on the other side too. So don't worry, I'm not wasting them. But yeah, this is a set of transfer foils from one of these um, recent kits that McCart's come out with. Um, I will leave it linked down below if you're interested in it. But I mainly um, wanted to use these um, for the flowers on there. I didn't too much care for like the butterflies. Um, so yeah, I was mainly trying to stick the flowers on my nails and like a couple butterflies, but I didn't really want it to be like too much of a butterfly set. So now I'm going to be painting all the nails with this McCart foil gel. Um, and this is a really good foil gel. 
um, they did upgrade their formula so it works way better than the last one you literally apply your transfer foil on there and like literally the whole thing transfers before it used to kind of like be like patchy so yeah I'm gonna cure the transfer foil for 60 seconds and I'm gonna wait 30 seconds before I go in and apply my foils um, that just will help your nail get like tacky so that you don't have trouble sticking them on and you do want to like place them flat on your nail and then take like a silicone tool or you can even use your finger to like rub them in really good and then just remove the backing After that, I'm going to go in with some base gel on the middle finger and the pinky nail and I'm going to be applying some of these little stones into the gel and like curing them in place. I have this little um, jewel pot that I got from eBay a while back. If I could find it, I will link it in the description box. But it has like a bunch of different charms. It has like some caviar beads. Um, this little Eiffel Tower charm, these little like arrow charms, and like some of the chain um, that you put on your nails. Um, but I'll be adding the chain later on. Um, I'm encapsulating these little stones because I find that they do tend to like, um, the color does tend to like wear off of them after a while. Um, that's the only reason I don't like putting them on top of my nails. So if I can avoid that, I do as much as possible. But yeah, I'm just applying some of the caviar beads and some of the stones and I cured that in place and now I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate the nails. I'm using McCart Clear Poly Gel. Love this poly gel so much. I always talk about it. But yeah, I love their poly gel. It's super clear. I'll link that as well. Um, everything I'm going to be using will be linked in the description box. But yeah, I pretty much just squeezed the poly gel out off camera because my bottle was getting low and it was definitely a struggle okay so yeah i didn't want to make a fool of myself sitting there for an hour trying to squeeze the poly gel out so yeah basically i squeeze it out into the nail like already in the form and i'm just patting it in place i'm using a poly gel brush from a cart and i'm also using some slip solution from a cart but if you don't have that you can use 70 to 90 percent isopropyl alcohol as a slip solution or a base gel you would just apply a little bit of base gel over the poly gel and just start patting it in place like that but yeah i always start by the cuticle and work side to side down the nail um you want to make sure when you're patting side to side you're getting all the side walls um you don't want to like not get those covered because then your nails won't be even if you know what i mean and before i cure it in the lamp i do smooth out the nail with my brush
Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and move on to the filing. Um, I'm going to start by debulking the nails. I'm just using like a fine grit sanding band um, to debulk them because they're not like really that thick. I didn't make them really thick. I'm also using um, the new McCart um, Jean V Air um, nail drill that just released um, earlier in the week. So yeah, it is really cute. It's like pink and silver and it works really, really good, especially judging the fact that I'm only using a fine grit sanding band. It's literally taking down so much product and I wasn't even on that high of a speed. I actually have this nail drill in blue. That's been my ride or die pretty much ever since I started doing nails. Um, so I highly recommend this drill if you're looking for one. It works so good and it will last you like forever. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going around the cuticle and smoothing the nails. Um, also like going along the sides of the nails um, just to like refine the shape. And I do file underneath to like get off any product. After that, I'm gonna go in with my cuticle bit from a cart um, and I'm just gonna like seal around the cuticle. Now I'm just gonna take a 100, 180 grit nail file and shape up the nails. As always, I'm doing like a long coffin shape. So I'm holding my file straight and I'm taking off a lot of the bulk that's in the middle of the nail so that they're not like super wide. And then I'm gonna angle my file in, like at an angle, but holding it straight and like file the tip in. Um, and you could just file the tip in until you're satisfied. Um, with like the width. I don't like mine too narrow, but I also don't like my nails too wide I like them kind of like right there in the middle um, So yeah, that's what I'm doing and then to file the free edge of the nail I do hold the file straight You could either hold it straight at an angle and file up and down or you can hold it straight at an angle and file straight across to get that nice sharp edge after that I'm just gonna buff over the nails
And to finish up the design, I'm actually going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be painting the bottoms of the nail with that red shade called Slay from the Girl Boss um, gel polish set. Um, by the way, the color Bullet is from the True Queen gel polish set as well. And remember, it's also in the starter kit in case you were wondering. But yeah, I'm painting the bottom of the nails just because, you know, I kind of got that like high fashion vibe. And yeah, I just wanted like red bottom nails, I guess. So that's why I did that. I'm only doing one coat though because, you know, I'm not really keeping them on long and who really looks at the bottom of your nails. But hey, if you get a glance, you'll be like, oh, I like the bottom of your nails, I guess. So yeah, um, anyways, now I'm going to go ahead and attach the little chain charms that I was telling you guys about. Um, these you need something strong to hold them otherwise they will pop off if you're using like regular bling gel or whatever so I'm going to be using a thin layer of clear poly gel and just placing the chain into the gel making sure it's like stuck into that gel before I go ahead and cure and I was so mad because I had um, four chains for my nails and they all had three links except for one of them one of them had four links so yeah, I was a bit mad and it's like super thick. So there's no way you could like cut it off. So yeah, I kind of had to like position the chain like a certain way. So like when I take a picture, you can't really tell that like all the rest of them have three links and then this one has four. But yeah, I think I did a pretty good job because you can't really tell unless you look close. Um, so yeah. Um, but anyways, after that, I'm just going to go ahead and top coat the nails as well as the underside of the nails since I painted them. And you definitely want to top coat underneath your nails if you have polish under there um, because of that like tacky layer or whatever. Um, and I will also be painting a little bit over the chains with the gel top coat because that color will like uh, wear off from washing your hands and stuff. So top coating them creates like a seal for a little while so that that doesn't happen as much that's the only thing that sucks about these little um charms like the gold ones because it kind of just like comes off really easily but yeah that is pretty much it for this set um i really love the way they turned out they're simple but i just love the vibe i was really inspired by the collection and i think I don't know, the whole vibe kind of went with the collection. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Also, let me know what which gel polish set you like the best. Um, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe because I do post um, nail tutorials and reviews every week. So you definitely don't want to miss out on that. And if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do that too so we could stay connected that way. And don't forget to hit the notification bell because sometimes youtube is a little funny and doesn't notify people when i post a video but yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye love you guys